Good morning, Westminster friends. This is Miss Deb. I sure do miss seeing your faces. I thought we'd start this morning's story with our Easter greeting, so please join me. Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. This is the Sea of Galilee. So many important things happen by the sea that we need a small piece of it to help us tell the stories. The sea is a wonderful and strange place. When the wind blows, the sea becomes very rough and wild. And when the wind is calm, the sea is peaceful and still. After God raised Jesus from the dead, Jesus' disciples returned to Galilee, where Jesus told them to meet him. One evening, seven of them decided to go fishing. They fished all night. They fished and fished, but every time they pulled up their net, it was empty. Just after daybreak, they saw someone on the beach. But they couldn't tell who it was. He called to them, have you caught any fish? No, they answered. Cast your net to the right side of the boat and you will find some. So they did. Now, there were so many fish that they couldn't pull in the net. Someone said, it's Jesus. Peter jumped into the water and ran to him. The others came in the boat, dragging the net. When they came ashore, they saw a charcoal fire. with fish and bread on it. Come and eat, Jesus said. The disciples realized this was Jesus. Then 
Jesus took the bread and gave it to them. And also the fish. I wonder how the disciples feel when Jesus doesn't seem to be around anymore. I wonder why they decide to go fishing. I wonder what they are talking about when they are fishing. I wonder how they feel fishing all night and catching nothing. I wonder how the person on the beach knows where the fish are. I wonder how the disciples know the person on the beach is Jesus. I wonder what Jesus and the disciples are saying to each other. I wonder what they will do now that they have talked with Jesus again. As we close our worship, let us light the Christ candle. We light the candle to remember he is the light of the world. In him we see light, in him we are light. Let us pray. Dear God, thank you for sending Jesus to us and reminding us that he is alive today. Amen. And we remember that Jesus was alive in one time and one place, and he is now alive in all times and in all places. Go now, go now in peace.